Did you know that there are numerous factors that may be disrupting your body's vitamin D absorption? Well, today I'm gonna to share 10 of those and what to do about it. So number one is the use of sunscreen. So as much as you think you're getting outside, you're getting natural sunlight exposure, if you're using sunscreen and blocking those UVB rays, you will not be able to make that active vitamin D. Number two is covering up the body. So as much as, again, you're outside, if you're covering up with clothes, you will not be able to absorb those sun rays and create that vitamin D. Number three is time of day. So if you are not outside at the right time of day for that UV exposure to make that vitamin D, then you won't be making that vitamin D from your skin and that sunlight exposure. Number four depends on where you live and what season it is as well. So here in Canada, Canada, for example, in the winter, even though we see the sun, there's no UV rays, so we can't make that active vitamin D. Number five on the list is liver and kidney issues. So even if it's not diagnosed, I'm talking even liver and kidney toxicity can really compromise your ability to convert into that active vitamin D. Number six is leptin resistance in the liver in particular. So if this is happening for you, if you don't know what leptin resistance is, you can certainly check out my other videos. But when you have leptin resistance in the liver, you can't make that active 125 form of your vitamin D, meaning that you may have an overall low vitamin D status. Number seven is being overweight. So your body fat percentage really does make a difference with your vitamin D stores. And if you tend to have more belly fat, so around your midsection, this will severely compromise your ability to make and store that vitamin D. Number eight is if you have type two diabetes, this will have a reduction in your vitamin D absorption as proven in the science and in the literature. Number nine, if you've had gastric bypass, so this is when the portion of the stomach and the upper part of the small intestine has been removed, this is where most of our vitamin D is absorbed. And of course, if you don't have that area of your intestines, you will have compromised vitamin D absorption. And number 10 is the amount of melanin in your skin. We know that black and brown individuals with darker skin, according to a 2021 study published in the peer-reviewed clinical journal Nutrients, suggested that those people who had darker skin and especially living at the higher latitudes, so meaning away from the equator, it was suggested that with their healthcare provider to consider taking vitamin D3 supplements to raise those vitamin D levels in the blood. And they were aiming for the number of 75 animals per liter or even possibly higher for optimizing their vitamin D levels and optimizing their health. For more information on how to increase your vitamin D absorption, please check out my video, How to Increase Your Absorption of Vitamin D. I'll see you there.